Hi YouTube. Today I want to show you my James Avery charm bracelet, which I have in this box. And I want to do an unboxing of a Tiffany charm that I just bought in New York. So I'll start with the bracelet. I'm going to show you the bracelet and all the charms I have on it. Um, they're not all James Avery charms. I have a variety of things. So here's the James Avery box. And open that up and I don't have it in the little pouch here um, which is what the charms come in um, little like felt pouch but here's my bracelet here it is and, uh, I'll go through each charm here so the first one is the 2012 heart and I got that when I got the bracelet. Um, I think I got these first two charms when I got the bracelet. So the 2012 is the year that I got the bracelet and my boyfriend got it for me in 2012, which is the year that we got together. The second charm here is, um, I think it was called the Autumn Charm and my name is Autumn, so that's why I have that one. Um, it has some little leaf details on the top and then fall colors and it's sort of an acorn shape. The next one is a bear. That was from our trip to Colorado and I got that in a gift shop in Colorado. The next one is a guitar. That's because my boyfriend plays guitar. I forget where I got that one. Maybe at the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo. I think I got it at the booth there. The next one is a peanut. Hold on. There you go. Um, that is a James Avery charm. And that one I got to represent my bird, Vincent, my parrot, because she loves peanuts. It's her favorite thing in the world, peanuts and grapes. The next one, let's see, I lose track a little bit of these. Okay, the next one is the Alamo. That's a James Avery charm. That's a James Avery charm and it's double-sided. So there's the front and then there's the back. Um, and that is from our trip to San Antonio one of our trips to San Antonio. It's pretty close, so we go there a few times. Let's see. Next is a sewing machine. And that's uh, a James Avery charm. My mom got that one for me last, last year, year before last, because I got into sewing. The next is a margarita. Um, that's because... We love margaritas. My boyfriend makes margaritas. He makes the best margaritas. They're so good. Um, so I have the little margarita charm. Next is the pet section, the dog section of the bracelet. So I have this gold, it's not real gold, but this gold toned dachshund. Um, that one I got in the same shop, no, a different shop, in Colorado. And they just had that out in, in this clothing store, and, and they had a couple jewelry pieces. So I got that to represent my red dachshund. And then I have another dachshund charm. That is this one. And that one represents my black and tan dachshund. Um, and I have a picture of him. And this charm, this is a James Avery little picture frame charm. And that is my dog, Sebastian. Next on the bracelet, I have these blue bonnets. That is a gorgeous charm. It's one of my favorite ones. Um, blue bonnet is the Texas state flower. And my boyfriend and I are both photographers and we go out and shoot the blue bonnets in the spring. Um, they're out right now because it's the middle of March and as 
As a matter of fact, my mom and I are going on a blue bonnet wine trail today with some of the local wineries. And um, so that'll be fun. Oops. That one, the Blue Bonnet Charm, I want to tell you about the company that made that. It's not James Avery. It's made by a local company in Houston called Esquivel and Fees. It's owned by two guys who I assume are Esquivel and Fees. And it's in the village here in Houston, the Village Shopping Center, Rice Village, near Rice University. And they are a charm shop and they specialize in animal charms. And I'm I'm thinking that I got my silver docks in there too. And I have another charm in here from them. But I just love them so much and I'll put a link below. They sell on Etsy so you can look at their charms there. But they specialize in animal charms, um, specifically in dog breeds. So you go in their store and they have the store lined with these jewelry cases and they're organized by breed of dog. And so they have lots of docks and charms and all kinds of other breeds that you can think of. And they're just such a fabulous shop and they're the nicest guys and they've always treated me so well and I just love going in and working with them. Um, the next charm is a cross and this one I got, um, you see the markings on the back, Let me back up a little bit, see if that'll focus better. This one I got in Assisi in Italy and this is from um, the gift shop in the uh, Basilica of St. Francis de Assisi. So that's that uh, the Assisi cross there, the Franciscan cross. Next, I'm losing track a little bit. I'm getting a little mixed up on my charms here. Hold on. Sorry, guys. Okay, the next one is this little Jeep. This is also from our trip to Colorado um, in the same gift shop that I got the little bear. So I got the Jeep because when we were in Colorado, we went to Uray, which is spelled O-U-R-A-Y, I think. Um, and when we went to Uray, we hired a Jeep. You can do these Jeep tours up in the mountains. And we hired this Jeep to take us to do photography um, and what's the name of the place? I don't remember now. There's this awesome place for photography. I'll look it up and put it there, but it's, um, I, I don't know mountain lingo, mountain vocabulary very much because I live in Houston where everything is flat, but at the very top of the mountain, there are these, what I would say is a valley. I don't know if that's truly a valley, but, um, it's this really gorgeous place where, it's just great to shoot, and we would never see that down here in Houston. Um, okay, next charm. This is another double-sided one. This one I got in a little shop in the downtown area of Santa Fe, New Mexico. And those are the, um, I don't know the name of the mountains, but those are the mountains that you could see from Santa Fe. And it has a moon on it, and then it's double-sided. And this was from a little independent charm shop that I forget the name of, but I'll try to find it and link it below because it was a really cool shop. Um, such a unique charm, I think. And on the back it has the sun, which is one of the sort of logos that the Santa Fe Tourism Department has used. Um, so that one's really unique and pretty. And then next, I'm getting toward the end here. Next I have palm trees, and this one I got in Galveston to represent Galveston because we go there all the time. I don't care for this charm. It, the color is a little darker than the other ones. It doesn't really match. Um, it doesn't really match the other charms on my bracelet, but it, it's the only thing I have to represent Galveston. I haven't found anything better yet. I'm still looking for something better. The next charm on here is a penguin. This is a James Avery charm. That Galveston one I just got in a little gift shop in Galveston. It's a cheap little thing. Okay, So there's a penguin. This is a James Avery charm. It's a little tiny thing. It's flat. Um, I think it has the James Avery mark on the back. It's really tiny. You can't really see it. But um, a friend of mine got that for me for Christmas this last year. It was Christmas, yes, Christmas. 
And that's because when I was in high school, I worked, I volunteered at the Houston Zoo. And through that, I got to volunteer with Moody Gardens when they were building their aquarium pyramid. And Moody Gardens is in Galveston. And I got to help hand raise their penguins. So I've always liked penguins since then. And he got me that penguin charm. The next one is a um, fortune cookie. And this particular one I got off Etsy, but I've had a few fortune cookies. The original one I bought in New York um, when I lived there for college. And I got it as a gift for the same friend that got me the penguin. So I forget the story behind it, but we had something with fortune cookies. We would eat Chinese food and get fortune cookies. and had something to do with that, and I don't remember now. But so I got him this fortune cookie charm. And then um, I think he ended up getting one for me. So it's kind of like a friendship charm. So we each have one. And this one I got off Etsy because it's sterling silver. The ones that I had uh, purchased pre previously were not. They were like little $5 things. And these weren't bad. This was like 20 for a sterling silver charm. But I can put the link up there to that if you're interested in that shop. The next charm is a uh, James Avery charm. And this is, uh, I don't know what they call it, Tree of Life maybe? I might be making that up. But I got it to represent our family tree, which would represent our grand my grandparents. So my grandfather was into the family tree and genealogy, and he kept these binders full of um, family history and all the genealogies. So I got that to represent him. <coughs> He passed a couple years ago from cancer. Um, the next charm is another one from Esquivel and Fees, the shop in Houston I told you about. And I love this one. This represents um, my boyfriend's cat, Ebony, who uh, he had when I moved in, when we moved in together. And she died a couple years ago. That's why she has wings on her. But I went into Esquivel Fees Esquivel and Fees looking for a cat charm for my bracelet when she died to to have a little you know charm to remember her by and they had this one but it didn't have wings on it and I told them the story about how she just died and they pointed out some other pieces um, that did have wings and I liked this cat because she's sleeping um, which Ebony did a lot because she was older she was like 16 years old and so they offered to put wings onto this charm for me. So they made this custom charm just for me, and I love it. I think it's gorgeous and really sweet. And let's see what's on the back of it. So at Esquivel and Fees, they make custom charms, and you can, they have, you know, a stock of things that they've designed, but then if you want something special, they can design it for you and make it, and it's just the coolest place. I love them. I don't know what that mark says, but that's their mark. And the next charm, I have just two more to go here. Um, this is from New Orleans. I got it in a little shop on Magazine Street and a, a jewelry shop there. And uh, that's one of the little row houses. And it says 502, to, what does it say? Is that 502? Um, it's their area code for their phone number there. And on the back it says, no place like home. So I got that about two years ago when we were in New Orleans for my birth, my boyfriend's birthday. The last charm I have on here is a James Avery charm. It's a box of chocolates and one of the chocolates has gold on it. I wish I could do a gold charm bracelet but I just can't afford that. It's so pretty though. I really prefer gold to silver. But anyway, that's a, it's a nice pretty charm. It's kind of hefty. So that's my charm bracelet and that is, here's what it looks like on. So it's definitely got some weight to it and it tends to turn around because of the weight where the clasp, I don't have it attached right now because this is a little safety chain so I'm just holding it together. But it tends to fall where the clasp is on top and all the charms hang on the bottom. So but I love my charm bracelet. I don't wear it every day because it doesn't go with everything that I wear, but um, I wear it a lot. 
All right, now for the stuff you've been waiting for, my Tiffany unboxing. So we were in New York City last week for spring break, and I knew that I wanted to get a charm for my bracelet from Tiffany's because when we travel, I like to get a charm um, from everywhere we travel to have a charm for that on my bracelet. So, you know, when in New York, you have to go to Tiffany's, right? And I had to get a charm there. So there were two that I was looking at. Let me pull out the box for you. There it is. Um, there were two that I was looking at, and this is one of the two. Um, so let me open it, and then I'll tell you. And then let me show you one more thing, too, that I got. Um, this is a silver polishing cloth from Tiffany's. This was only $5, so I got several of them. And on the back, um, on the back it says that. I'm not going to read all that to you, but you can pause the video and read it if you're interested. And you just open this up. It's got a little flap on the back. And that unfolds completely. And then it has this little cloth. And it's folded in half right now. So uh, let me just open it up. But it's the Tiffany Blue. It says Tiffany & Co. And very pretty. So I have other polishing cloths, but I thought, oh, it's $5. Why not get a Tiffany cloth, right? So, all right, so now for my Tiffany unboxing of the charm. So I'll just open it up for you if you can. I love how they package that Tiffany blue is just so classic and iconic. And then with the white ribbon, which I can never tie back the way that they do, but there we go. So it's upside down, isn't it? There we go. Tiffany & Co. Open it up. And this is the first time I'm opening it, so I don't even know how it's packaged. Um, so the charm is in this little drawstring. It comes with this card. It says Tiffany & Co. And on the back, it says um, Care of Sterling Silver. So I'm not going to read that to you either. If you want to read it, just pause the video. Okay. And where did I put my charm? Here it is. All right, so open up the drawstring. They've got it tied on the front. So I'll untie that. And it's a nice, um, like a micro suede. Not like a micro suede, it is micro suede. So I'll open it up. And inside is my charm. Um, I'm feeling inside, I want to show you something. See, it has this little piece of microfiber inside that's a divider. I have some earrings from Tiffany's that have, uh, it's in a different pouch, it's like a, it's more of a flat pouch like this, but it has a button on it. And that has the divider too, so I bet that's what that is for, is to put an earring on each side so they don't scratch each other, or maybe if you have a necklace to put the pendant on one side and the chain on the other side. So that's nice. And here is, let me get it held by the chain, here is the charm that I got. So it's a little Tiffany box, and I just thought this was so pretty. When I was looking online before the trip, there's the bottom of the box, so that ribbon goes all the way around it. So when I was looking before the trip, like I said, I was looking at two charms. Um, they have a flat silver heart that says Return to Tiffany. I was looking at that one. Uh, that was $75, and then I was also looking at this one. And this was my favorite of the two, um, but this one was two hundred and thirty dollars. And two hundred and thirty compared to seventy-five for a charm. I thought, well, I really like this box better, but I'm probably going to end up with the um, with the Return to Tiffany seventy-five dollar one because I'm already planning to spend money in New York um, with buying some Louis Vuitton stuff, and I was also at Tiffany's getting gifts for other people. But then I looked at the Tiffany heart, the return to Tiffany in person, and then I saw this, and as soon as I saw this, I knew I had to have this one instead, because it's what I wanted, and I don't know when I'll be back in New York, so why not just get the one I want and spend the extra money? That's what money's for, right? To buy things that make you happy. I feel like if I had bought the other charm, the, the cheaper one, that I would always look at it and think of this and wish I'd bought that. So I just went ahead and bought that. 
not learned that in the past when I've sort of settled on other things and then I find that I I regret settling on something or I will end up buying the thing I really wanted in the end anyway so why not just buy it up front if you can so there's the charm and let me show you on the bracelet it is solid sterling silver so it has a little weight to it and it's about the same size as any of my other charms um, I'm not sure yet where I'll put it on the bracelet maybe on this end with the um, with the what's it called the box of chocolates maybe I'll put it there because I want it on an end where I can see it when it sits on the top of my wrist but all right well that is the charm bracelet what review overview collection whatever it is and then the reveal unboxing of my Tiffany charm so let me know if you have any questions I hope this was interesting and not too boring I felt like it got a little weird when I was going through all the charms maybe a little long-winded but um, I hope you enjoyed it and got some information out of it I'll put links below um, if you like this and want to see more things please subscribe below and if you have any questions or comments please leave those in the comment section and I would be happy to get back to you all right thank you have a great day